Hey friends, you've got Robert and Catherine here with Daybird Aviaries, and we are going to do a beta sorority. Now, beta fish are sometimes called fighting fish, and the males absolutely will fight with one another. But it is possible to keep multiple females together in the same aquarium. So which baby girl betas do you want? Um, any of these. Hey. Uh, yeah. How about get all three? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do it. Okay. We're gonna buy all they have. Uh, all the baby girls. Are have. All the baby girls. Okay. Are you happy? Yes. I'm glad you're happy. It makes me happy that you're happy. So recently, Catherine and I were in a, a local pet store, a Petco, actually, in Gadsden, Alabama. We don't have a pet store local to us. And she asked for a beta, and instead of just one, she got all three betas, all three female betas that they had. And I thought, well, what better thing to do than to make a beta sorority? And so we're gonna use this little aquarium. It is a three-gallon aquarium. And I know there's a lot of controversy on YouTube about proper size for a beta. And people say that nothing less than three gallons for a single male beta. And that's what this is for. This is for a single male beta. However, we're going to be putting three female betas in here. Our female betas are teeny tiny little itty bitty baby betas. And so there's going to be plenty of room in here and Catherine has picked out some beautiful blue gravel to put in here and so she's going to dump that in now we have rinsed this completely thoroughly in the sink look how pretty that is yeah, I love it. It looks okay like eyes. go ahead and put it in there yeah and it's going to be loud Just go ahead and dump it off Reach in there and arrange the gravel. How I want it. Well, we want it a little bit thicker in the back than in the front. We want it to slope a little bit towards the front. That tricks your vision and gives you a greater depth of field of vision and makes it look larger. Look what a good job yeah, she's doing. Yeah, kind of does. Yeah. I wish I had the background put on here. Well, it's got a solid black background already. Okay, do we want to go ahead and put some plants in now? Mm, yeah. We're going to be using artificial plants. So she's picked out some pretty plastic plants that she's going to put in. Go ahead and put them in, This sweetheart. one kind of looks like a fly trap. What do you think? Yeah. It's kind of... And if you see how I'm just putting it in to the very bottom, then kind of like burying the little stumps that they have. And try to put this in my cute or down here. Wherever you want to, dear. <laughs> I'd put it there. Yeah, this thing kind of makes it look big or two. Don't you think? Like a big or big or thing. Now this little aquarium, it does have a filter. It does have a light. And we even have a small heater for it. Mm -hmm. And so this is going to be perfect. Can you get the water? Okay. Let's go ahead and pour some water in. Now we have the water at the right temperature in a in a jug already. And so she's going to bring that over here carefully, slowly. We're doing this in the kitchen, by the way. Oh, Can you pour it in or do you want me to pour it? Wait, Daddy. I'm going to pour it I in. I believe we forgot one thing. What did we forget? My little figurine. You have a figurine? Yeah. Oh, no. My favorite, my favorite Disney princess, Elsa. Oh, no. I'm going to put her in right back here. Right there? When I told her this looks like eyes, I wasn't kidding. It okay. th really does. See, I thought that you meant we were forgetting the Beta Bow water conditioner. We're going to put that in last. No. Well, we're going to go ahead and put this in now, okay? Just a couple of drops. Uh, that's not a couple. You can't really 
I guess it's possible to overdose on this, but it's it's difficult to do so. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna. You have to like put the whole thing in. Yeah, we're not gonna do that, are we? No. No. Go very slowly so you don't kick up any plants. Now, if you're doing this exact same thing, adult supervision. I don't have an adult supervising me. Well, you're an adult. Are you sure? Yes. If you're an adult doing this, that's fine. You know what? We're going to come back when this tank's all full. A little bit more. That looks good. That looks real good. You don't want to fill it all the way to the tippity top because, because they'll jump out. They can jump. And betas can jump. So, and we do have a lid that goes on this. But, It'll sit there like that. Yeah, but the only bad thing is it has holes. Well, those are the ventilation holes. I know, but okay. it still has holes. Now look, I'm going to scoot this back just a little bit. And we're going to show you what we got. Now these came from Petco. It's the... I don't know that that's going to show. A baby girl beta. And she's she's in there. She's teeny tiny. Look how beautiful that little fish is. And look, we have one more. And there she is. Look how little itty bitty. And we have a third one. Yeah. And Daddy, I don't think it's so good to stack them up because they can block well, the little air. That's right. There's a little air hole in the top of the cup. So what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to acclimate the fish. And this is going to be a long, slow process. What we have to do is we're going to take each fish one at a time. And we're going to let the bowl float in the top of the aquarium. And also another good reason is why we didn't fill up all the way is you saw how when we put it in the water wise. We're going to let this float for about 10 minutes per beta. And then we're going to scoop the beta out of the cup and discard the water that's in the cup. Add the beta to the tank. And then we're going to go on and we're going to add the other two fish, one at a time. So we'll be back when we get that all done. Now here we have it with the light on. You can see all three fish. The darker one's up at the top and the other two are down lower. These are all three females. We should not have any problems. As they grow, we will add them. We will upgrade them and put them in a larger aquarium. Probably a planted 10 gallon aquarium. And then we'll go back to having just a single male beta in this tank. But I think this is very nice. It's lovely. Catherine was really enjoying it already. She thinks that it is cute and precious and pretty and all those girly things. And I will leave links down below where you can find equipment, if not the exact same thing, then similar things. So go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.